I bet you're wondering, what am I doing? The answer is simple. I'm playing a piano. But what you're really here for is to learn about Irving Goffman's sociological theory. And that's a whole other chapter. Ah yes, Irving Goffman. Irving Goffman. He wrote The Presentation of Self. And what does this mean? Well, Irving Goffman came up with a theory that basically relates everything to the theatrical world, relating people and social interactions to performances and actors. But what does this mean? But what does this mean? So what this means is that Irving Goffman said that people will act differently according to the audience. So I will act different to an audience that I know likes sports. I'll say, hey, how about them Broncos, huh? Even though I have no idea what I'm talking about because I don't watch football. But that's beside the point. See, Irving Goffman came up with the front stage, backstage, and off stage. And what he means by this is simply that on front stage, people will act differently because they know they're performing for an audience. Backstage is when, let's say, the actor or performer will act more like themselves. And then off stage is when the performer individually meets every audience member. And there's more in depth to that. Oh, hey. So, Irving Goffman, right? Front stage. Front stage is when the performer or actor knows that they have an audience and they will adjust their performance according to the audience. So, for example, um, let's say you're gonna go talk to a set of kids, right? And you wanna tell them, do good in school, don't do drugs, and you know, make sure education is a priority. Well, you're gonna go in there and talk about kid-friendly things. You're not gonna be like, hey, little jerks. You're gonna study, you're gonna do good in class, or else you're gonna get hit. Now, you don't wanna go to little kids and say that, right? Well, Irving Goffman basically said that that's what front stage is like. You adjust your performance according to the audience. Now, let's go ahead and talk about backstage for a minute. Hey there. So let's talk about backstage. Backstage is basically what Irving Goffman said was the closest place that you could get the performer to be themselves or act more like themselves because they know there's not an audience. They know they're not performing for anyone in particular. So it's more of an in-depth to themselves. And this relates to whenever we're away from groups, whenever we're away from friends, family, when it's just time of solitude. That's what Irving Goffman related to. He's basically talking about how the theater world, once you're done giving off a performance, you go backstage and you can finally act like yourself. It's not a character, not a certain type of way. It's who you really place yourself to be or act how you think you are. It's the closest thing that you can relate to yourself. And then there's off stage. Off stage is basically when the performer gets away from the stage and has more individual one-on-one -on -one type of scenarios. Along with this, Irving Goffman also related the sociological interactions with more theater terms, theatrical terms, such as setting. Setting would be the, the sociological scenario that you're placed in and how that affects the actor's performance or the character that you want to give off. Everything has to do with where you are, which is going back to setting, the manner that you give it, which is the way you give off the performance to be, the way you would act a certain, you know, to certain situations. And then there's appearance. Appearance is the social status that you want to give off as. And typically this will all change according to audiences and stuff like that, but setting plays a big role, appearance plays a big role, manner plays a big role, and they all combine into how you give off to be yourself. That's what it all ties back down to. It ties up to the presentation of yourself. And now, here comes the fun part. We get to talk about how Irving Goffman's sociological theory ties to real life. And man, is it gonna be fun. That's not my CD. Oh, that's a lot better. This is my CD, my hood jams. So, did you watch the Arsenal game this morning, Arsenal Leicester? Uh, to be honest, I just watched the second half, but it was such an amazing game. But did you see the Chelsea and Newcastle game? I mean, that's what I call a game. Yes. I mean, I've never seen such a high score before. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I mean, how many times can you score a goal? Am I right? It could be more one-sided. <laughs> right? 
Oh my god, did you hear about Kyle? Oh my god, yes, I heard about Kyle. Can you believe what he did to Jessica? Like, that was terrible. <laughs> I know. How can he live with himself? Am I right? Oh my god. Well, I gotta go. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> Who's Kyle? <laughs> Now, obviously, this is a big exaggeration of how social interactions happen, but it is true. I mean, usually, typically, whenever you walk and meet someone and the way they act, I mean, you try to portray yourself in a way that they can be attracted to you. You try to give off that, like, oh, I know what they're talking about, so let me pretend like I know what I'm, what I'm talking about so we can relate, you know? And Irving Goffman has a great, you know, this great use of his theory by explaining that people will act just like they expect their audience to react. I mean, they, they get an idea of what the audience wants to hear and that's what they will deliver. I mean, think about it, politics, that's a great example of it. But I mean, this is just an exaggerated example and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you know a little bit more about Irving Goffman's theory of the presentation of self and dramaturgical, sociological, different words that are higher than my vocabulary and okay, bye. <laughs> It's just me, myself, and I Solo ride until I die Cause I got me for life Yeah Woo I don't need a hand to hold Even when the night is cold I got that fire in my soul uh. And as far as I can see I just need privacy Front stage is the fact where the actor or performer Knows that there's going to be a certain type of audience Hey there, neighbors For example just kidding. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna get out and yell and be like, "Hey, neighbor!" That would have not been funny. You're recording, aren't you? Okay. And then there's off stage. And now, now I can't play, and it's not fun. It's sad. Growing up sucks, because I mean, I've never had this much fun falling off a thing before. And you know what? Adulthood doesn't let you do that. <laughs> because that's what's wrong with society. We put on performances, and we fake it. We fake it till we make it. And sometimes that benefits us, but not always. So don't listen to society. Be yourself. Goodbye.